Canon finally ramped up the performance on the Rebel, including an increase to 19 autofocus areas from 9, and now it's quite good. While it takes a surprisingly long time to power on, focus and shoot, 0.9 second, it's competitively fast for everything else. It takes 0.3 second to focus and shoot in both bright and dim light, though in darker conditions, lower than typical living room light, it takes a lot longer to focus. It also takes 0.3 second for two sequential JPEG or AWS shots. Two sequential shots with flash increases to 1.2 seconds. It can sustain a burst of more than 30 JPEGs at 5 frames per second, and I found the in-focus hit rate is good enough for typical kids and pets photographers. The raw continuous shooting is a little more disappointing, it's really fast for 6 shots, 6 FPS, and then tanks down to about 2.4 FPS. However, you can continue shooting at that slower speed for more than 30 shots. It doesn't simply stop. LibView, using the LCD rather than the viewfinder, performance is better than previous Rebels, but it's still slow. In both bright and dim light it takes 0.6 seconds to focus and shoot, and two sequential JPEGs run 0.7 seconds. The multi-point autofocus, the setting where you let the camera make all the decisions about what to focus on, actually seems a little more intelligent than most, in that it doesn't always opt for the closest element in the scene. However, like all complete autofocus modes, it's inconsistent, focusing on something different each time you have pressed pre-focus, even if you don't move the camera.